on now. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Nice shot or what? Can you paint those little Shasta daisies on them? Oh, yeah. This summer, after all. <laughs> that was awesome. This is what I'm doing all summer. Did you girls see what she was wearing to Ben's party? I don't even get why he likes her. Yeah, well, maybe we should bring her shopping with us next time. She could obviously use the help. Yeah, but shopping's not going to help her face. <laughs> You're getting pretty psycho on that bike. You guys only wish you were as good. I'll be sponsored while you're working fast food. Hey, you guys are done for the day. Pack it up. Come in, we're setting up out back. Hey. Oh. Hello. Hello. Who was that? A friend. A guy? Yeah, so? So we've talked about this. You're too young to date, and you're way too young to have a boyfriend. I can't have a friend who's a guy. He looked like more than a friend to me. Megan, you're too young. I'm not playing with you. Whatever. Hey, Mom, these are for you. Where did you pick these? You better not be ruining my flower beds. Oh, Cameron, there are bugs on them. Take them back outside, please. They're for your party. Take them outside and then get downstairs. I need you to stay down there till the party is over. Now go. Whoa, where are you going? Out. No, I need you to watch Cameron during the party. No, you and Dad are here. Besides, he's by himself all the time. Hey. It's about time the party starts in less than an hour. I got here as soon as I could. Here's your ice. I don't want it. Take it outside. Oh, here, here. Go light the candles. No, not that one. You'll ruin it. It's a decoration. I never light it. I meant the ones outside. Put that out in the garage. Oh, and I need you back tomorrow to clean up. I appreciate you guys working so hard on that. <laughs> That's all you guys. I love your bracelet. <laughs> Green is beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got them in Bermuda. Where are you going on your next vacation? I don't know. You know, we've been anywhere. We're seeing anything. We have a timeshare that we plan to visit mm -hmm. before the kids go back to school. You're taking the kids with you? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> we never take the kids. Too much hassle. <laughs> <laughs> Catered. Nice. Aren't you going to impress us with your own cooking, Tara? Oh. <laughs> I would if I could. I don't know how to cook. Mm. They never learn. Cameron, you need to go back inside. Go back inside. I'm hungry. I forgot to order the pizza. Hey, Tara. Matt, would you go and order some pizza? You guys excuse me? Yes. Come on, buddy. Hey, Josh, what do you need? I've been trying to call you all day. Yeah, I got your calls. It's really not a good time. I got people here. Do you know your company's preparing for layoffs? Have you heard anything? No, I haven't heard anything, but I'm the vice president of marketing. I think if there was something going on, I would know. Just keep an eye out. If there's anything you need or something I can do, call me. All right, I'll, I'll do it. I gotta go. Read this when you got a minute. All right, I'll do it. I'll see you later. Hey, uh, ate your salmon. Hope you don't mind. Yeah, I can see that. 
Thanks, Brad. No problem. <laughs> its intention was to escape to land. But I leaped into the water and waited up to... Oh, Dad! How did it go? What did he say? He didn't want to talk. Oh, he's just too proud. All we can do is pray for him. Let's pray. Okay. Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our prayers for Matt and his family. Please bless Matt, that his heart may be softened, that he may become a strong spiritual leader in his home, and that he'll accept the love and support of his family. These things we ask and pray for, in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ, amen. Oh, Matt, we forgot about Cameron. Would you go check on him? You should have seen me. He's catching some serious air. Is that what you did all day? What about your college application? Did you get around to filling that out today? Oh, I know. I'm sorry, buddy. Next time, okay? Let me clean this up and go to bed. Where all the cereal? I hid that for me. You can't have all that. Give me some. No way. You always get all the food. Gotta be fast. Uh -huh. You two sound like five-year-olds. Where are you going, Mom? Mom? I've got to... Go to the store and then I have a hair appointment. What kind of a store? Can I come with you? You can go with Brendan. I can't take him. The guys will be here any minute. Well, Megan, I guess you're playing with Cameron today. Uh, don't even ask. I have plans. Oh, and I need to use one of your credit cards. Nobody ever takes me. I'll take you when I go hiking, buddy. Who's that? It's Saturday. He left before I got up, but I'm pretty sure he went golfing. Can I play with Jacob? No, no one can take you. I wish I had someone to play with. Can you have another baby? What? What did you say? Mom cannot have another baby. She's way too old. I am not that old, though it would take a miracle. Well, I believe in miracles, don't you? Look, why don't you go and play in your room for a little while, OK? Or you could play a video game or watch a movie. I'm out of here. Brendan has a new one he hasn't even seen yet. Can't you put that in the dishwasher? <laughs> and put the maid out of a job? Oh, that's right. The maid is coming today. Cameron, can you let her in when she gets here? Sure. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Oh, the guys are here. See you later, buddy. Bye. Do you have any kids? I have a son about your age. Can he come play next time you come over? Maybe. Are you home alone again, Cameron? Everybody. Where's everybody? I don't know. You're here all by yourself? Yeah. You hungry? Yes. Good. More for me and you. So what'd you do today? I booked a way to call mom today. I'm Matt Webster. Yeah, thanks for calling me back. Listen, I don't know if I'm gonna have that project done in the morning. I would apply if I had any available credit. You guys have turned me down for a loan modification and refinance. No. Catching up on the payments is not an option. I keep telling you I can't sell. 
The market shifted. I owe more on the house than it's worth. What other options are there? Foreclosure? There's got to be another way. I have to call you back. That's it. The HR guy is here from corporate. I just saw him out in the hall. What's he doing here? Can't be good. You know what? He's probably here doing an insurance enrollment. Maybe. Randy, relax. We're getting bonuses, right? We're obviously doing a good job. We're indispensable. Brad and I are going to lunch. Do you want to join us? I can't. I gotta run an errand. All right. Dad? Yeah, buddy? Are we going to go to church this week? We didn't go last week. We didn't? Yeah, we'll go. You get dressed, we'll go to church this week. Good night, Dad. Good night, Cameron. What's all this? Just some stuff for the house. How much did you spend this time? I don't know. Tara, we need to cut back. It's not like we can't afford it. I'm just saying, we need to be a little more careful for a while, that's all. Since when? Since things are getting a little tight. I can barely keep up with the minimum payments. Tara, are you even listening to me? You need to cut back. Me? What about you? You spend just as much as I do. Well, we all need to cut back. You know what? We're going to have a family meeting tomorrow. Can you please make sure everybody's here when I get home from work? Tara, I'm serious. No, I can't do it this time. You can't or you won't? Both. Mom, my house is going into foreclosure. Son, I can't keep bailing you out. But mom, it's not my fault. It's the economy. Everybody's hurting right now. Not everybody. Right, Josh, he's perfect. Everybody can't be Josh, mom. Josh lives by true principles. Besides, you have not changed the way you're living ever since I bailed you out. Matt, I love you too much to keep enabling you. How does not helping me show me love? I didn't say I wouldn't help you, just not the way you're asking me to. You need to ask God's guidance for your family. What I need is money. I'm sorry, son. You're on your own this time. Catering? Lights? DJ? Tara, this is what I'm talking about. What is all this? That's for my 16th birthday. We're gonna have to scale it back or call it off. No, Dad! You're ruining my life! Megan, I'm sorry, but we have to cut back on unnecessary expenses. My birthday's unnecessary? It's not just you. We all have to cut back. We have to stop spending so much money. Not now, Josh. Matt Webster. Matt, mom just called. She's concerned. She wanted me to call and offer some financial advice. Josh, you don't know when to quit. I don't need any help from you. If I wanted financial advice, I'd pay you for it. Now leave me alone. You have got to see this. Come outside. Not right now, Brad. I'm busy. It's awesome. You got to see what we did at lunch. Come on. What's going on? You're not yourself lately. I got a lot of work to do. Busy. Not time to be out. You're gonna forget all about it when you see this. What is it? Check it out. Come on. This is yours? Yeah, it's mine. You bought this. That's what I said. Just picked it up. What about the layoff rumors? You're not worried about that? No. Decided to buy it now, though, just in case. I had a job. Couldn't get a loan on it. 
So you bought a car knowing you may not be able to afford it? Sure. It's been a while to last, right? This is a nice chunk of change. What about your kid's college education? I don't have kids. Yeah, you do, Brad. They're not my kids. They're my wife's. Rex can deal with that. Obviously, nothing's changed around here. Cameron, where's everybody? I don't know. Have you eaten anything? No. Come on, let's make a sandwich. So you haven't seen Megan or Brendan? You should have seen me. I got a 40 minute flight. It was so awesome. Brendan, are you gonna play all your life? When are you gonna get a job? Dad, I can help make a sandwich. And Megan, where have you been? Spending every dime we have? You're as bad as your mother. What's with you? You know what? What's with all of you? You don't seem to care about anything but yourselves. Dad, what's wrong? All of you just go to your room. Enjoy it. You may not have one next week. I said go! I can help you put your financial house in order according to biblical principles. Read Romans 13.8 and Proverbs 21.20. Josh. Okay, Josh, a wise one. Owe no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth, blah, 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 blah. There's treasure to be desired, and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man. Spend it. Great. Now I'm a fool. Thanks, Josh. I don't want to go home. The summer is way too long, and my kids are driving me crazy. Tell me about it. I cannot wait for mine to go back to school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I'm feeling bad for Cameron. He has no one to play with. Seriously? Can't you just get him a nanny? Excuse me, your credit card was declined. It shouldn't be. Maybe the strips weren't off. Hold on. Um, try this one. So when do your kids start school again? Oh, this one was declined too. That's weird. Okay. I know this one's all right. Declined. Do you have another form of payment? Here, I've got it. ask you the same question. You just can't wait to go out and spend every chance you get. Oh, don't worry. I couldn't spend a thing. What do you mean, couldn't? Declined. Do you have any idea how humiliating it is to get declined? Especially in front of my friends? And not just this card, three cards. Everyone in the restaurant was staring at me. What is going on? And what is so funny? Well, Tara, obviously we're over the limit. I told you we had to stop spending. No, you said we had to cut back. No, I said we had to stop spending. Uh, 
When were you going to tell me about the house when we were out on the street? What difference does it make? There's nothing you can do about it. No, definitely not now. But I live here too. I deserve to know about this. Well, now you know. When did we get so far behind on the house? The mortgage adjusted six months ago. We're making twice the payment. I don't make that much money, Tara. We're just not making it. Well, can we borrow against the house or refinance or? Don't you get it? That's how we got in this mess to begin with. We keep borrowing against the house to pay off the credit cards. As soon as they're paid off, they get run right back up again. We don't have any money. We don't have any credit. And our house is being foreclosed on. What, Cameron? Let's go to church. I can't run, I can't run. I'm too tired. You said you'd take me. I know, buddy. I had to work late last night, though. Tara, why don't you take him? I'm not going if you're not. Cameron, I'll take you next week, all right? Just go on and get some breakfast. to encourage you to read Luke 12 today. Call me if you need anything, okay? That's all. Read Luke 12. I'm taking some pictures of some of our stuff. We'll have to put some ads on the internet. Could I help? Yeah. You know what? Go tell everybody there's going to be another family meeting, all right? OK. Look, we're not getting anywhere with our debt. We still owe too much. On what? On everything, Tara. Between the house, the boat, the RV, the, the dirt bikes. We're paying thousands of dollars a month, and we don't have it. So you're saying we're selling our stuff? Technically, it's not our stuff. We don't own any of it. We own a bunch of payments. My dirt bikes? They got to go. You can't sell those. I use those. You didn't pay for them, Brendan. When you can afford your own, you're welcome to have one. What about the house? I'm trying to sell it. I'm also waiting on a bonus from work. If I can get it by next week, we might be able to keep a foreclosure. We're losing the house? As of now. Look, everyone's going to have to start taking initiative here. And Brandon, quit doodling in that sketchbook. You need to get a job. Dad, 
Don't you think we should pray to do what God wants us to do? Last check to him bounced. And I had to let the maid go. You did what? Come on, Tara. We can barely afford to eat. Some things have to change around here. You know we can't afford a maid. So who's going to clean up around here? <laughs> oh, you know I can't. You know she can't. Well, the two of you will have to figure it out together. It's not broken, Megan. We only need my phone for work. Yours is expendable. Expendable? Thanks for ruining my life. Josh, what do you want? Are you ready to talk yet? Matt, I'm a financial advisor. Don't you think I can help my brother? What do you know? I know you're in trouble. I love you. I just want to help. You know what? You think you're so much better than me. You just can't wait to rub it in. I don't butt into your life. I don't tell you how to live or what to do. All I ever get from you is judgment. <laughs> judgment? What? You know what? I'm tired of your scriptures and your self-righteous life. I'm, I'm over it. Matt, I'm only here because I care about you. I wish you could see that. Look, when you're ready to talk, I'll be here. That's what brothers do. Josh, if I want your help, I'll ask for it. Possessing your vehicle, ma'am. What for? Well, it says here, uh, due to non-payment. You can't have it. So, Jim, what about the bonuses? What about my bonus? As a CEO, I'm not even planning on one. The economy's hit us hard and unexpectedly. Our biggest deals are backing out. Jim, you don't understand. I need this bonus. Besides, I thought they were based on last quarter's performance. What would have been bonuses are now what we're operating on. Listen, Matt, I came here to talk to you about tightening up the marketing department. Tightening up? On what? Jobs? Expenses? We're on a hiring freeze. Nobody gets promoted, nobody's getting a raise, nobody is getting a bonus. Look, you're lucky it's not any worse. The sales department is being restructured. Mm. 
Well, it's done. No bonus. Matt Webster? Yeah? I'm a representative from your mortgage holder. I've been authorized to give you cash for keys. It's a relocation program. So what, you're offering me money to leave my house? Technically, it's not your house. It's been foreclosed on, so if you leave the property in its current condition and be out within 10 days, the bank will provide you with a check. You have 24 hours to decide. You know what, do you have a pen? Hey, Josh, it's Matt. Yeah, look, this isn't easy for me. I, I don't know what else to do. I keep it hidden from my friends. Hey, everybody. They... Uncle Matt and his family are going to stay with us for a while. They'll be here this weekend. Yay! Can Cameron stay in my room? He sure can. Josh, can I talk to you for a minute? Sarah, keep reading this. I'll be right back. Does Tara know about this? I guess so, if Matt's calling about it. Why? Josh, you know she doesn't like me. I just don't see this going over very well. They don't have anywhere else to go. Mom's condo's too small. I know. I don't have a problem with it. It's just, it's going to be hard. Really hard. We have the room. It's not what I mean. What's wrong? I just didn't know it would be so hard. I don't want to leave. I know. I mean, I know we have to, but it's just hard. Who would have thought we moved in here would end like this? We had everything ahead of us. But you know what, Tara? We still do. I'm kind of excited to see what the future holds. I don't know how you can be so positive. I'm just trying to have faith, I guess. You need to read Luke 12. I mean, it really helped. But we're losing our house. Look at it this way. Adam and Eve suffered the ultimate eviction. We're just losing our house. Just losing our house? I know it sounds crazy. I, I'm just finally starting to realize we don't own any of this. It all belongs to God.
I don't know what to say. Um, I really, we really appreciate all of your help. I don't know what we would have done if you guys hadn't come today. Well, thank you. Well. Save me, embrace me. I can't even count how many times I've chased Brian through this kitchen. I can count how many times I've been on the other hill. Yeah, I mean, that's not funny. Make them thought so. Alright, guys. Time to go. Look, Josh says they have plenty of room. It's going to be fine. I feel weird about this. Tara, it's only temporary. Come away, come away, come hey, Josh. Come on in. Hey, Hi guys. Welcome. Hey, Sarah. Glad to have you. Aww. Hey. Everybody's ready for bed. Oh, we're going to have a lot of fun. So much fun. Oh. I'll tell you guys real quick where you're staying, and then you can go bring your things in, okay? That sounds great. Okay. Matt and Tara, we've got you downstairs in the guest room. Megan, we've got you set up on the sofa in the basement living room. Brendan, we've got you set up in the private playhouse suite out back. And Cameron, you get to stay with Jacob in his room. Yay! Playhouse? Oh, yeah, it's great. There's electricity out there, and you've got it all to yourself. You only need to come in for the bathroom. Thanks. He'll love it. You guys make yourselves at home. There's towels in the closet, food in the fridge, and you're welcome to join us for any activities that we're doing, OK? We will. Thank you guys for everything. We really do appreciate this. It's been a long day, though. I think we're going to go ahead and hit the bed. All right? We're about to have family prayer. Would you like to join us? Oh, no, that's OK. We'll, we'll just see you in the morning. All right, guys. Good night. Thank you again. Good morning. Jacob, please show Brendan where he'll be staying. You're so lucky, Brendan. I never get to stay out in the playhouse. I don't know if I can take it. I have no privacy. And Rachel is way too nice. She bugs me. Why don't you go take a shower and wind down? Rachel said the towels are in the hall. Mom, Dad, come check this out! What's with the grocery store in their basement? Megan, get out of there. You can ask them about it tomorrow. I don't want to ask them. I think I'm snooping. You ask. You are snooping. What am I going to do here all day tomorrow? I'm going to be totally bored. If you've seen how many kids are here, the last thing you'll be is bored. Tortured, maybe, but not bored. Hey! Get up. 6.30. What have you been doing since 6.30? The usual. Prayer, scriptures, chores, and now breakfast. But it's barely 9. Yeah, we slept in a little today. We usually get up at 6 o'clock, so we're all done with breakfast by 8.30. Where's my mom? I haven't seen her up yet. What about Brendan? He's probably playing out in the playhouse. He's so lucky. Are you 
here for a tea party? What are you doing today? I've got to get out of here. Gavin's picking me up in his two-seat truck. There's no room for you. Right in the back? <laughs> nope. Have fun. Talk is cheap when the hope has died A broken soul that's barely alive Dreams that left you a long time ago On the morning after Sit and talk all day long Jacob, Sarah, dinner duty! Rock your soul till your hope is gone Cause they don't know Setting and clearing the table. Jacob, it is your night to help me fix dinner. Could I help? Sure. Go wash your hands and I'll get you started on chopping the vegetables for the salad. That's my spot? I can't do it. I feel so out of place. Tell me about it. Move. Tell your parents we're ready to eat. Yeah, I told them I don't know what's taking them so long. I'm gonna grab a plate for Megan and Tara. They're not feeling well. Looks great. There you go. Thanks. Maybe tomorrow. Here, eat it. I can't live like this, I feel totally trapped. You're not the only one. I know this has to be hard for you to come stay here with us. But I really think you'd feel better if you had something to do. I'm doing something. I can see that. What we need to do, though, is straighten this mess. It's depressing, isn't it? I'll take these plates up. Could you finish picking up the trash? It would be great if we could eat as a family tonight. I have some errands to run when Matt gets home with the car.
Matt, we need to talk. Not now, Tara. I want to go back. Go back where? We have no place to go. And you know we can't afford anything else right now. Then get a higher paying job. You have to do something. Ugh. I can't live like this anymore. Come on, Tara, you've got to figure out a way to make this work. It's not going to kill you to help out. You think you have it bad? I'm staying in a playhouse. I'm so embarrassed to be here. My friends won't even drive out here to pick me up. Do you hear this, Matt? We hate it here. Do you know what I hear? Ungrateful, spoiled brats. Don't you guys get it? Our lives have changed. This is where we live. This is how we live. I don't want to hear any more complaining. You think you hate it here? Trust me, you'd hate the alternative a lot more. I don't think any of you are cut out to live in a cardboard box. Megan, I would prefer it if you and your mom ate at the table. Letting you eat downstairs is setting a bad example. Since our house rule is if you're healthy and able, you eat at the table. Where's breakfast? Rachel wants us to eat at the table. What? Oh, of course. I've just been waiting for her to do this. She wasn't rude about it. Oh, no, she's never rude. She's just I'm so sick of it here. Me too. Cameron's having a good time, though. She just thinks she's so perfect with her chickens and her garden and her grocery store in the basement. As for my chickens, my garden, and my grocery store, how do you think I'm feeding all of you? My grocery store, as you call it, is storage that will feed us in case of an emergency. We're glad to help you because we have food to share. That's not what I meant. I was just... I know. You're used to something else at your house. And I am sorry you don't have one anymore. I am happy to have you here. I could just use a little more help. Put these away. Thank you. Dinner is at 6, and I'll need your help to fix it at 4.30. All right. Patience and love and show kindness. And please help me to know how I can help Tara. In Jesus' name, amen. We added your names to the Webster family job chart today, so tomorrow your family will have job assignments just like our family. After breakfast, we'll finish our history projects, okay? Yay! 
watching your kids get excited over a history project? Aren't you afraid all this homeschooling is making them a little socially backward? Excuse me? Well, I mean, they spend all day with you. You teach them. I just thought maybe... Tara, are you insinuating that I'm socially backwards? Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. What are my jobs? You have dishes, which is unloading and loading all day. Uh, vacuuming the upstairs in the basement area and garden duty. What's garden duty? Watering the garden, pulling the weeds, picking the right vegetables. And how do I know when the vegetables are ripe? I'll send Sarah out to help you. And Megan, you have the bathrooms and taking out the garbage, okay? I can do that. Do you think if Megan and I finish up quickly, we could borrow the car to run an errand? I think that would be fine. I'll ask Josh if he needs his car. We need to keep ours here in case I need to leave with the kids. Okay, great. And what about Brendan? What's he doing? He'll be mowing the lawn. <laughs> oh, don't pull that one. That's a squash. Sorry. Here, pull the ones that look like this. me a bug or a spider or something. This? <gasps> this is a roly poly bug. It won't hurt you. Look. Lay's dead. <sighs> oh, so it's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's cute too, don't you think? Sure. <laughs> You can bring one in. We're done with it. <laughs> That's a zucchini. Here, take one of these. It's Tara. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no, I'm not on vacation. No, I'm sure I told you where I was, didn't I? Oh, no. Well, anyway, no, I just, um, I've been dying to get out, and I just wondered if maybe you wanted to join Megan and me for Girls' Day Out today. Oh, why not? Are you going to be with your in-laws all day? So there's no way you can go? Oh, okay, okay, no, we'll, we'll miss you. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, no, we'll we'll try it another time. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. I think it's about $300 worth in this pile. Yeah, that's about my pile too. So after we return these, can we spend any of it? <sighs> Maybe a little, but I think dad would be impressed if we gave him a bunch of cash. I do think we can afford a quick pedicure though. Cameron. What? Come here. Uh, I'm going rock climbing with the guys today. You remember when I said I'd take you next time? Yeah. Well, do you want to go? Really? Yeah. Uh, the guys will be here in a few minutes. Can you be ready? Sure. Can Jacob go? I don't think there's going to be enough room this time with all the guys in gear. How about taking Jacob next time? OK. All right, I'm going to go get stuff. I just saw the HR guy here again. Randy, relax. It's a sales department. It's getting restructured. So he is here to do layoffs. 
for the sales department. Well, we're safe, right? Yeah, as far as I know. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. What? Mom. What is going on? What? Why are we leaving? We have an appointment. Let's climb here. It's been a while since we've taken this route. We've never soloed it. Dude, that's dumb. It's pretty gnarly at the end. You remember the overhang? Took a couple falls on it before. Yeah, but that was when I was first figuring it out. Now it's like a puzzle I've done a million times. I know just how to do it. Just climb it, try it. Brendan. I brought my camera. Nah, I know I can do it. Matt Webster. Sure, when do you want to do that? Yeah, I can come right now. Okay. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but as you know, there's been cutbacks and it's affected your department. Cameron, Cameron. hold still. Cameron, don't move. You guys try and get up. I'm gonna try and get down. Please help to do it, child, Lord. Lord, I'm losing everything. Please, don't take my child. Please. I'll do whatever I can. Please don't take
Hot gun. Stone surgery. Brent and I have been playing. I have been too. I think it's gonna be okay. How do you know? I'm starting out faith. When can we see him? We don't know. He's still in surgery. It could be hours. Are you the parents of Cameron Webster? Yes. yes. We were able to mend and repair Cameron pretty well. He's stable right now, and I think he's going to be OK. When can we see him? He's sedated right now. The best thing you can do is to go home and get some sleep. He'll be groggy in the morning, but should be ready to accept visitors. Thank you, Lord, for saving my son. Do you realize what a good kid he is? He's always been so good, he's easy to forget. He's just never asked for much. He's always entertaining himself and never was any trouble. Realizing I don't know any of them. They're growing up so fast. Soon they're gonna be gone and I've missed it. It's like I went to sleep. I don't know when it happened. I guess this is my wake up call. You know why I wasn't home today? I was shopping. Megan and I hit a sale while my son could have died. This makes me sad to think of how much of my life I've spent just doing unimportant things. I guess we both got our regrets. I know we've been doing this wrong, but I gotta believe we can do it better. I feel like we're getting a second chance here, Tara. I don't wanna blow it. Yesterday I was worried about where we're gonna live. But I am just grateful to be alive. Family is everything. We got to start putting it first. Look at this. I found out when I was going through some things with Cameron. Who's is this? Brendan's. I didn't know he could draw like this. Me neither. It's incredible. Buddy, you're awake? Cameron, I've never been so happy to see you. We brought you some things, honey. I'll just put them right here, all right? Yeah, thanks, Mom. Hey, buddy, listen. Doctor said you need to get your rest, OK? So we're not going to stay. We'll be back later, though? All right, you get some sleep. Glad you're feeling better. I'm so sorry, Cameron. Can you forgive me? Mm. I love you, buddy. It wasn't your fault. It's pretty dumb of me. Brendan, you're being too hard on yourself. I knew better. I'm so stupid. I wasn't tied in, Dad. I soloed it and showed Cameron by my bad example that it was okay to climb without a rope. He didn't know any better. You made a mistake. It's ironic. You don't know how well you just summed up my life. What? Brendan, you were trying to look good for your friends, try to impress them. That's what I was trying to do. You pushed yourself, ignored all the risks, all for your own glory. That's what I did, too. The only difference is when I fell, I took all of us with me. You realize we lost everything because of my pride? So what now? We tie in and climb again. This time, though, we can't trust in our own ability. And we can't do it for our glory. This time, we've got to do it for God's glory. Brendan, the mistake we made was we thought we could do for ourselves what we can only do through the Lord. Does that make sense? It's going to be OK. Cameron's strong. 
He's gonna pull out of this. I love you. And you know what? I saw your sketchbook. I hope that's all right. Brendan, I really liked it. You have some amazing talent. I'm just sorry I didn't see it sooner. Matt, what's going on? Well, with all that's been happening, I haven't had a chance to give you the bad news. About Cameron? No, not about Cameron. But I did lose my job. <sighs> I got laid off yesterday. <sighs> Look, Tara, I know what you're thinking, but I feel blessed. I mean, we have a place to live. I don't know what I'd have done if I'd have lost my job and the house at the same time. Does this mean that we have to stay here even longer? Not necessarily. Josh has some ideas on how to get me back on my feet financially. I just didn't want you to stress about it. Well, I don't know what else could upset me now. So you won't mind that I'm selling the Audi? <laughs> Terry, Matt. don't worry. We're going to get another car soon. This time, it's going to be cash. <laughs> Come in. Okay, little brother. I'm ready to learn. About time. <laughs> I've been watching you. You're so patient with the kids. I don't know how you do it. Patience takes practice. And I get plenty of it. I also read Proverbs 31 all the time for help. Proverbs 31. It's where God describes what a virtuous woman is. Oh, yeah. I remember that chapter. You know, Rachel, watching you has made me remember why I wanted kids. Cameron was just such a surprise. He's just, I've just been in shock, or I think maybe even denial ever since. Just wasn't prepared for any of it. But I want to live Proverbs 31. You will. I also like the scripture, children are in heritage to the Lord, Psalms 127.3. I need that daily reminder. I love that. I need to live that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I've been so horrible to you. It's okay. I loved you anyway. Before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. I don't know, Josh. You're saying I got to use savings for everything that my check doesn't cover? Yes. Without savings, you can never get ahead, and you only get deeper in debt. It's a vicious cycle. And you're serious. Your house is paid for? Yes. And you can do it, too. It only takes discipline and a plan. The small amounts add up fast. Oh, for you. Oh, Elijah, these are beautiful. Thank you, buddy. Mwah. I'm going to put these in a special place so everyone can see them. Thanks, buddy. Well, I know I need to start saving, but I don't know how I'm going to do it right now, especially now. I'm doing everything I can. I've got my resume out there. At least we know who he's hiring. What are you selling today? Oh, look at the lizards we made, Dad. They're only a dollar. Do you want one? No. I want all seven. All seven? Matt, have you thought of marketing as an independent? OK, that will be seven dollars, please. Thank you. I have enough money to go to 
to the swamp. You going to business for myself? I wouldn't even know where to start. Business is providing something others want in exchange for money or barter. That's it. You can do that. Nothing's that simple, Josh. Sure it is. It's so simple the kids can do it. Sarah has more cash at her disposal than I do most of the time. Yeah, but where am I going to find business? Business is everywhere. Individuals, mom and pop shops, nonprofits, Fortune 500 companies. They all need marketing. They all need your services. I can't think of anybody who needs my services right now. You know what? I can. Come on. I want to introduce you to your first client. Andrew, got a minute? Yeah, sure. I wanted to introduce you to my brother. Andrew, this is Matt. Hey, Andrew. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. Like your bumper sticker. Yeah, I'm somewhat of a collector. So what's up? Well, Matt's in marketing. I thought he could help your business. Really? Well, that's great. But I, I don't know that I can afford any marketing yet. Well, what if we worked out a deal similar to what you and I did? and barter your services for now. Sounds good. What do you got in mind? Well, Matt's going to be buying a cheap car with cash. It's going to need some work. You get his car running, he'll get your business running. All righty. It's a deal. Let's do it. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure, go for it. What's the, what's the name of your business? Mobile Moto. I do on-site repairs. Well, I don't have a shop yet. <laughs> How do you advertise? Word of mouth. Referrals. So no website or anything? No, no website. I think I can definitely step up your business, Andrew. Sounds good. Looking forward to it. Hey, Dad, check this out. What do you got, buddy? Wow, <laughs> nice work. That's amazing. You want to see the logo I made for Josh's business? Yeah. Brendan, that is great. That's professional. You know what? You should be my partner. I'll do the marketing, you do the design work. What do you think? I'd love that, Dad. I'll make you proud. Brendan, I'm already proud of you. Hi! Hi Lori, come on hey, in. Hey, Andrew told me your brother and sister-in-law are staying here, and I just want to introduce myself. Tara's in the other room, I'll go get her. Thanks. Go ahead and take a seat. Hi. I'm Lori, Andrew's wife. Oh, okay. Owners of Mobile Moto, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I am so excited about the amount of work that Andrew's been getting since your husband started his marketing business. He's been getting a lot of business? Almost more than he can handle. It is such a blessing. Oh, that's great. And just a real answer to our prayers. I wanted to let you know that we have referred you on to several other of our friends, and they're trying to get their business to start it, too. Really? Wow, that's great. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Really. <laughs> if there's anything that I can do for you, please oh. let me know. Thanks. Oh, I will. and I baked you this bread as a thank you. You bake bread? Yeah. Oh. Now that is something that you could do for me. I would love to learn how to make bread. I would love to teach you anytime. Okay. Hey, Josh. Hey, Rachel, have you seen Josh? He's out on a date. Yeah, he takes the kids out once a week on a daddy date. He's out with Sarah right now. What do they do on their dates? Well, different things each week. He usually lets the kids choose the activity. You know how cheap Josh is. But he finds fun and endless things to do for free. You know what? You just gave me the inspiration I was praying for. I'll see you later. Kyle, what are you working on? Wow, that's amazing. Matthew 5.16, why did you choose that? Well, Cameron read it to me when I visited him. It really touched him, and it did the same to me. You did an amazing job capturing it in your drawings. Well, this is me, Dad. Before Cameron's accident, I wasn't doing anything bad, but I wasn't really doing anything good either. Not doing anything bad and doing good are very different things. Right. You're not the only one that's learning that. Wait a second, Brendan. That's it. Good Works. Good Works Marketing and Design. It's the perfect name for our family business. What do you think? I like it. 
You get started on the logo. We're in business. You just have to take it from here. I don't know, Josh. I don't want to blow it again. You're ready. You're on the right track, spiritually and financially. Yeah, but what if the work's not there and I can't afford the rent? I can't let my family fall again. I'm not saying that it's going to be easy or that you won't struggle, but you have to have faith. Josh, faith is the hardest part. You understand what didn't work. Now you understand God's laws. All you have to do is apply what you've learned and what you know. That's easy for you to say. You're naturally a better father and leader than I am. I don't know if I have what it takes. That's fear speaking, and it will only shut you down. Forget it. Concentrate on the vision you have for your family. What if I don't have a vision for my family? I mean, concentrate on the big picture. Your role as a father. I don't understand what my role as a father has to do with it. Your role as a father is to preside over, provide for, and protect his family. If you do those three things to the best of your ability and with the help of the Lord, you will be the kind of leader and father God wants in your home. How does my little brother have all the answers? I don't, but I know where to find them. God's way. You know what, Josh? There's something I gotta do. I'll see you later. Surprise! Hence the blindfold. Okay, go to the right. Grab. Push there. Go more steps. Okay. Right there. Oh, wow! I know it's not what you expected, but <laughs> it's all for you. Sweetheart, I can't believe you're 16 years old. It seems like just yesterday your mom and I held you for the first time. <laughs> you were so little. Now you're a beautiful young woman. And I'm very blessed to be your dad. Thanks, Dad. I got something for you. This ring represents my love for you. It's a symbol of my love and my commitment to lead you. It's also a reminder that your heart belongs to me until the day a worthy man comes along and takes you in marriage and gives you a ring that symbolizes his love and commitment for you. I love you, Dad. I love you, too. Happy birthday. And I promise you, we'll have a real party soon, OK? OK. Right. <laughs> Let's right. eat. I got you your favorites. I hope you're hungry. Mm. Yes, I am. The greatest house, the finest cars, have we lost sight in who we are? When worldly gain is all we see, our life's on sinking sand. Our life's on sinking sand. All is gone. Everybody's attention. Glad you guys came. Cameron is home.
Ending with one, two. It's the summer I won't forget. Mm. It's too bad Cameron's got to go back to school so soon. Well, actually, if you approve, I was thinking maybe he wouldn't. What? I've seen too much of a lifestyle I've grown to love. I love it way too much to go back to the old way. What do you mean? I'd like to homeschool him. Really? <laughs> I've missed too much of his childhood. I don't want to miss another minute. I think it's a great idea. Really? <laughs> hey, what do you guys think of my new ride? Oh. Wow. Megan, what do you think? You still want to drive my car? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot some. I got some for you. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to take you for a ride. Let's go. Yep, just mom. Oh, thank you. All right, well, we won't wait up. All right. Mint chocolate chip. Thank you. It's just like our first date. <laughs> you remember that? What kind of shake I had? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> this is where it all began. We were two kids drinking our milkshakes and planning our lives together. Here we are again, almost 20 years later, drinking our milkshakes and starting over. <laughs> this time with a new plan. A new plan. We could do this, Tara. I want to do it different this time. This time I want to give you my best. This time I want to give God my best. I promise we'll make it work. This is it. <laughs> nice. What do you think? It's awesome. Give me those crutches. There you go. Yeah, buddy. You, you guys want to go pick out your bedrooms? Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we made it. <laughs> Tonight's our last night at Josh and Rachel's. I think I'm actually going to miss it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Wait till you see the inside. And the question is, will it all fit? You can always put Brendan out in the kitchen. <laughs> Josh, I don't know how to thank you. You don't have to. That's what families do. Think you know that now. Yeah, but I really appreciate it. Can I go home yet? <laughs> no, I don't appreciate it that oh. much. We got more work to do. Oh, Rachel. This is what you taught me. The most important things in life Our aren't things. <laughs> Amen. And the best part is I got it at a yard sale for $2. Hey, that's almost free. <laughs> yeah, honey? You're right. I don't need a boyfriend. I don't have that, too. I just wanted to let you know. That's my girl. Good party, sweetheart. Matt? Yeah, Mom? I love you. I love you too, Mom. Look, I'm sorry I put you in that position. Let me finish. Matt, you and your family are so precious to me. I hope you know that. Yours and Josh's family are my legacy. And you're my reason for living. And I want you to know that it's been a great, wonderful privilege to watch you grow into a man and and 
into a father and, and into a servant of the Lord. I know your father is so proud of you. And I also know he's looking down on you and really feeling the joy that I feel too. I just had so much in my heart. I had to let it spill out. I love you too. Well, it looks great. I hope you guys are hungry. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Mom. What are you doing? I thought that was for decoration. It is, but you know, this candle represents who I was. Beautiful, maybe, but not very useful. I had a better chance of melting in storage than burning down from use. I want to burn myself out from use. I want to let my light so shine before men that they may see my good works and glorify my Father which is in heaven. I can't tell you how grateful I am for these difficult trials that we've been through the last couple of months. If everything hadn't fallen apart, we could have never rebuilt our lives so beautifully. I know he loves me. It's beautiful. Yes. I love you too. The dinner looks great. Thank you. Cameron, do you remember when you asked me if I believed in miracles? Yeah. Well, I do. Tara. Mom, are you having another baby? Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> Serious? Oh, you're great. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, wow, this is a celebration. <laughs> Let's eat. Let's eat. Oh, wait. Who's saying the prayer? Um, Cameron? <laughs> <laughs> the greatest house, the finest car. Have we lost sight in who we are? When worldly gain is all we see, our life's on sinking sand. Our life's on sinking sand. All is gold.
stand strong.